Hey, today I figured we would do a video kind of talking about God's protection and everyone feeling a desire to feel safe and everyone sharing a desire to feel safe. It's one of the reasons, you know, people want peace of mind and feeling protective. The Bible tells us that God has pr promised to protect us. Um... The biblical promise of protection prompts the question, what exactly does a hedge of protection mean for my life and yours? And the meaning, okay, we'll do a literal meaning. Hedge, out of the Merriam-Webster Dictionary, a fence or boundary that can define an area or create a level of security or defense. And then you have protection, covering or shielding, from exposure, injury, damage, destruction. When you combine these two thoughts together, then a hedge of protection is a fence or boundary that is designed to act as a covering to shield you from exposure, injury, damage, or destruction. God, is God has promised to protect you from things meant to harm you. He will watch over you and your family. He will provide shelter and safety in times of trouble. He will keep you when you are attacked by the enemy. And we are going to read Psalms 91. We're going to read the entire chapter. It says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in Him I will trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the Noisome pestilence, he shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that lay wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall, a thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dast dash thy foot against the stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample underfoot. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and shew him my salvation. Um, let's see. I was looking in the notes here if it says anything that I needed to read. And then Psalms 121.7.8. I should have had this mark, but you guys can bear with me, can't you? 121.78. One twenty one seven through eight. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall pre pre preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Okay. God desires to remove fear and replace it with his peace, knowing he will be with you and watch over you. What I'm saying is we don't need to worry about nothing because God has got us. We just did. We're living in some very worrisome times right now. And I know that the eclipse and stuff they've talked about, and that's not helped everyone's fear and worry as of lately. But you don't have to be afraid. It's in this book here. He says he'll protect us, and I know he will. So he's, he's provided that hedge of protection. God will watch over us. You know, like, knowing he will be with you and watch over you is the main thing. 
and we've got God's eternal hedge of protection where we'll be safe and sound in his presence forever. And that is it. I just want to leave you with that prayer. It doesn't hurt to read that and pray over everything and just kind of cling to him through all this. I love each and every one of you, and I will see you next week with another video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until then.